XRP, we start with one of our charges. I'm gonna give a quick update. If you refer to our analysis in my last video, since the price was here, we mentioned how we can look for buy. And after we get this drop, we could refer to the indicators as a divergence to look for buy. The only way was to put our entry above the top. All right. And for those traders, they get the trade for buy within this one. And we see whether we had an opportunity to look for buy based on 15 minutes. Based on 15 minutes, if anyone could take the risk and looking at this one as a flag, also they could take the trade. By the way, for those, we have been looking for the reversal and this is what we get. And for those traders, they get the trade within this one. Right now, they need to know how to manage it because we mentioned we need to see the breakout of this correction. All right, right now, the price almost at the top. We want to see whether the price could break. If the price could continue and break the next flag of correction, we will take the next trade. All right, but at this point, we cannot take the trade. We have to see the breakout. Anyway, we move to daily chart. And if we refer to our analysis, we mentioned we are looking at this one as a flat in relative to this. That's why I mentioned any reversal, any opportunity for buy, we'll take it. And we have been looking for the reversal. And you mentioned with the breakout of 1.42, we based on daily chart, the targets we're looking for is 1.65 following by 1.97. By the way, right now we're looking for the reversal. And if you move to forward chart, even based on forward chart, we mentioned we have a divergence based on the indicators. That's why I mentioned if you get any opportunity, as we can see, any opportunity for buy, we'll take it. And I highlighted that there is a possibility we get a lot of the opportunity for buy, but it doesn't move in our direction. That's why any trade for buy, we consider as a short term. As long as we get into the profit, we have to start to manage it. Right now, if the price could break this correction, we see the continuation, then mostly we can look for continuation as a long term, but we should know how to manage it. And based on forward chart, we don't have any trade for buy. And based on one hour chart right now, we're looking to see the breakout of this correction. If the price could break continuation as a sharp, any flag or correction from there, we can look for the next trade. Then from there, we can look for breakout of 1.06, right? By the way, for those traders, they get the trade within this one. Right now, move their stop loss to break even. And right now, we want to see whether the price can break 196, 0 0.965 or 97 cent or not, right? Anyway, we if anyone wants to look for buy from here, if this one turned to a correction or flag, the only option is to put the entry above the top. But we should know that it will be very risky. The simply the price can tag and drop. It doesn't mean we cannot look for buy. We can, but uh, it it is it is quite risky. That's why we need to see the breakout of this correction. Then any flag or correction above that, it can give us better opportunity to look for buy. And the best thing is if the price continue flag or correction after the breakout of ninety seven, then from there we to we take the next trade. Anyway, we just follow the chart. If I see any update, I will share. Thanks.